Hi, my name is Layla Martine and I head up the Windows Consumer Group for the United Kingdom and I am here today to show you a sneak peek about what Windows 7 um, is going to look like and what you'll be able to do in the future. And what you'll be able to see in our taskbar is how easy it is for you to be able to navigate different um, applications and different sites. And one of the examples, for instance, is that you'll be able to very easily close an Internet Explorer or any application. The other thing that you will notice is that we have larger buttons and larger icons on the bottom. And the notion behind that is that you'll be able to easily navigate with all of these with your fingers. And you can even do things like being able to size the size of the applications. This clearly isn't touch enabled right now in terms of the hardware, but we expect at the time of launch that it will be. A couple of other examples are the number of times that we multitask and have a number of different applications open at one time. And here what I will show is the ability to work with multiple documents and be able to work with them much easier side by side. So this is an example about how we can snap two documents much easier than ever before. And so what you're now able to do is be able to edit both documents in just a click. The final thing that I wanted to show that Steve Ballmer will also be talking about today at CES is about how easy it will be to be able to share information. So there's a couple of things that we will notice. One is that we've got a new preview pane, and what you're able to do from here is to be able to play directly from here. You'll also be able to play directly um, through to your media player as well as to the media center, and you can share with your friends and family through the home group. And the home group is going to be a very easy way for computers to be able to talk to each other in the home environment. So we're very excited about that. And the last piece that I will show is um, one of the things that I'm really excited about, which is within Media Center, we'll see how much change that we've made in terms of the visualization, making it a lot easier for you to spend a lot of time with your music, your videos, and you'll see in the future that this again will be touch enabled. So I think it's just a sign of where we're going.